Hello everyone, this is Dr. Meher Shah once again with another video. In this video, we are going to learn about Britain's word system under international monetary system under the topic international finance. In this video, we are going to learn about what is Britain's word system, what does it include, how did Britain's word system collapsed and what are the measures taken to save this particular system. So let us see what is Britain Woods system. Okay now, okay now after the collapse of the gold standard and the interwar period, a new system came into use which was known as the Britain Woods system, which was named for a 1944 meeting of 44 nations, which contained 370 delegates all over the world at Britain Woods, Washington. The purpose of this meeting was to design a post-war international monetary system. The goal was exchange rate stability which was the main reason after the war without the gold standard so they didn't want it goal at all. The result was the creation of the two major financial institutions that is IMF and the World Bank. And this was considered as the most remarkable event in the history of the world finance. IMF was entrusted with the responsibility of formulation and enhancement of rules and policies of international monetary system. IMF was also made responsible for monitoring and managing the exchange rate between currencies. So IMF was brought about, it was given, you know, the responsibility of formulating various policies in order to get the stability back and also to monitor and manage the exchange rate between the currency. IMF was also given one more responsibility where it could lend funds to the countries after the after the world war okay now the international bank for reconstruction and development that was ibrt better known as the world bank was made responsible for financing individual development projects so these two you know the financial bodies were brought about in britain was system one was the imf the second was the world bank it had major implication in this system. So IMF on one hand was brought about to formulate and enforce the policies for international monetary system and also to monitor the man monitor and manage the exchange rate. World Bank was made responsible for financing individual development projects. Now let us understand how this thing worked. Before Britain was system, Britain was considered to be one of the most powerful nation as it has a huge amount of gold reserve. However, in after the collapse of gold standard, USA was considered as the most powerful nation and dollar was considered as the most powerful currency. Now under this particular system, okay, you, the dollar was pegged against US and at the start one ounce of gold one ounce of gold was pegged at dollar 35 so if you wanted to buy one ounce of gold the cost of it was 35 USD now under the system Let's say we have three countries, one is Japan, India and Britain. Okay. If these countries wanted you know, to convert or wanted gold, they couldn't directly convert their currencies into gold. If they wanted to do so, they had to first convert it into USD and then 
USD will be converted into gold and they can get gold according to that. So at the start, one rupee of India was pegged at 0 0.2 dollar. Now, the system was similarly, you know, Japan yen also was converted in that way in Britain. At the start, this thing was going very smoothly because a lot of efforts were made in order to get this particular system working. However, due to Triffin paradox, um, this particular system started to shake and it was near to collapsing. Now, what does this Triffin Paradox model? As it's mentioned here, due to Triffin Paradox, which means that the demand on an international currency meant that excess supply would undermine its value. Now, since everything was pegged, you know, all the currency were pegged to US and dollar was only pegged to gold. So if any current country wanted gold, they had to convert the currencies to US and thereafter they could have done the transaction. So the demand for US D increased. Now since the demand of US D is increased, US started importing more from these countries so in order to give them excess of US or the excess of dollars however this was possible for a for a short period of time where US was ready to you know accept deficit whereby importing more and you know exporting the dollars however the other current the other countries they knew the other country like India Japan and Britain they knew key since the demand of the dollar is increased us will start printing it more and supplying more and as we all know since the supply will increase of a particular currency it will you know eventually reduce the value of dollar so in that case the Stephen paradox came into picture where excess supply would determine or you know, undermine the value of dollar so to stop this to stop this US government came up and it stated that this is it dollar cannot be exchanged for gold and Bretman Wood system came to a collapse so the US government came up stating that they cannot further go into deficit and they suspended the pegging of gold to USD. Now, there were few measures taken. Now, there were few measures which were taken to save Britain Wood system. One among them was the Smithsonian Agreement. This was an attempt to save the Britain Wood system where 10 major countries known as a group of 10 met as Smithsonian in 1971. According to this agreement, the price of the gold was raised to $38. Each country revalued their currency against the USD by 10%. The band for the movement in exchange rate was expanded from 1% to 2.25%. The devaluation of US dollar, however, was not sufficient to stabilize the situation. In Feb 1973, the US dollar further came under heavy selling pressure. The price of the gold was further raised from $38 to $42. By March 1973, followed by Japanese and European currency, other currencies were allowed to float. This resulted into the collapse of the Bretman's world system.